Just because you're camping doesn't mean you can't have pudding. So pancakes are absolutely perfect for the camper. All the things you can get from the site shop, you can probably get some flour and some eggs and some milk and you're away. I'm making these with a little bit of a twist and I'm using uh, yogurt. So half a tub of this yogurt makes the pancake a little bit denser, but they're the small pancakes that you can pile on syrup or pile on more fruit. I'm using the paella pan that goes on the top of this Grilla Gas, a Kadak um, barbecue. I use it for pretty much everything other than a paella. It's brilliant for doing eggs in the morning or you could do stir fries. It's a really, really versatile bit of kit. So, big bowl, that's all you need. Start off. Now, 150 grams of plain flour. I've got my super handy dry ingredients measure here. So, I find my 150 of flour. Then you want half a tub of one of these yogurts. You can have plain or you can use fruit yogurt. I always use fruit. Then you need one egg. Put that in. And then the all important ingredient here is bicarbonate of soda. You need a half a teaspoon of that. Do not forget that because that gives it a little bit of rise. And then you start whisking it and it will be really uh, gloopy and sticky and gooey like you're making Play-Doh like you did at school or rubbish glue with just flour and water. If you think that it's probably a bit too thick, add a little bit more milk. That's about right. For some reason, I always leave pancake batter. I think that after giving it a good beating like that, it needs leaving putting it in the fridge, I just put it to one side. And then fire up your barbecue, you want to get it nice and hot. Getting the mixture, just on a big spoon, gloop it in. Fill up your pan, I've used about enough to make four pancakes. And then on top of that mixture, while it's still wet, you've got to add your fruit. Plop maybe three or four berries on the top, one more with my mouth. And the way to tell that your pancakes are ready for flipping is that the little air bubbles come through so you can start watching them bubbling up and they probably only need like a couple of minutes each side really rubbish thing about being the cook when you're making pancakes is they're eating them as fast as you can cook them so you rarely get them so I recommend just hide a few in the back right those are pretty perfect just beautifully kind of tan brown on the top time to plate up i thoroughly recommend putting clotted cream on the top because when you put that on a really hot pancake it starts to melt then you can put some more fruit on the top and you have just got the amazing breakfast. There you go, easy peasy summer berry pancakes.